So this is my review of the Star Lite, which is an 11 inch uh, mini laptop available with Windows or Linux. Um, I got it with Ubuntu 1704, um, which runs brilliantly. Uh, was toying with the idea of trying out Kali Linux, but uh, not quite brave enough. Um, I bought it mainly as a second laptop just to keep the Linux side of things um, separate. Um, so yeah, it's mainly, mainly intended to be a second laptop. Um, fairly well spec for the price, it's got Pentium N4200 which a little bit of googling around is one of the highest end Pentiums you can get um, at the moment and uh, pop it open and you get Crucial um, RAM and the SK Hynix um, SSD both which you know provide adequate performance for what I need this laptop to do um, build quality is um, quite impressive um, for the price point, um, you know, it's marketed as a slim laptop. It's not the slimmest in the world. It's not MacBook size, um, but it's also not MacBook price. Um, I think it's some form of aluminium compound. Um, doesn't feel like aluminium on its own, um, but you know, quality is good enough. There's barely any flex in it. Um, the bottom's definitely plastic, um, removable battery. Um, which I saw today, you can now get a spare one, which will be brilliant. Battery life's about six to seven hours, depending on what you're doing, which is wicked for a small laptop that you just carry with you. Um, decent amount of connectivity. I'll start on this side, because this is one of the reasons I got this laptop. Um, obviously, DC charger, um, Ethernet port, which is, yeah, amazing. Um, I'm not even going to take that out. Um, an SD card, um, well, loads of cards with a standard plastic slot, two USB, two ports, um, status lights on the front as usual, um, and then you've got a USB 3.1, HDMI, um, VGA, and then one of those security lock, which no one ever uses. Um, pop it open, um, and if my camera focuses. Um, screen's 3066 by 768, um, which is more than sufficient for a laptop of this size. It goes um, pretty bright, um, so you can actually use it in you know a fair amount of sun sunlight. Um, I'm in England, and as you can see behind me, my doors and windows are open, and there's sun pouring in. Um, and, you know, you can sort of counteract it a bit by brightness going up. Um, it's usable outside, you know, it's not the most amazing screen in the world, but it's it's really impressive actually for the money you pay. Um, keyboard isn't quite full size, um, only slightly smaller, I'm not even going to try and measure them or say if it's a standard. Um, nice enough to type on, um, you get used to it after a little while. Um, plenty of hotkeys. Um, more than more than I use, I'm more of a brightness up um, and screen um, and volume, and that's me. But that's all good. Um, trackpad um, is fairly sized for a laptop um, this big, um, and it's good enough. More than responsive. Two separate click buttons. Um, you know what you'd expect. It works quite well. Um, I'm not the person to ask about gestures because I don't use them. Um, speakers are quite good. Um, I mean, for the size of this, it's nothing um, impressive, but it's really good for a laptop of this size. I mean, ripping off Game of Thrones. Um, it's probably going to sound quieter than me because I'm behind the camera next to the mic, and that's not. But really good for you know, watching stuff on the go, um, usually music whilst working. Um, so that's it, that's the main main parts of the laptop. Um, not much more to say, I'm not very good at reviews, it's my first one, so let me know how terrible it is in the description, and yeah, I hope this helps anyone if they're looking at one.